Big news for Otona Precure 23. Hello everyone, it's Lel, and in this video we're going to talk about the new announcement concerning Otona Precure 23 or Kibo no Chikara, the season in which we are going to see the Yes Precure 5 girls as adults. Can you believe this is happening? I still can't Oh my god, this is like, this is not sticking into my mind. I'm so happy about this. And today we're going to talk about the new ending, that the ending that has been announced and also the singers who are going to sing this new ending, which is a huge, big, amazing announcement. So the first thing is that for this ending, they got back something that is called Cure Quartet. It is a unit that was created in 2008 to celebrate five years of Precure. This unit is composed of Gojo Mayumi, Uchiyae Yuka, Kudo Mayu, and Miyamoto Kanako. And in this video, we're going to check out the interview and also some little information about this huge ending. And so bringing this unit back from 2008 in 2023, Honey, this is insane. So the ending theme of Kibono Chikara Otona Precure 23 will be Shizuku no Precure by Cure Quartet. Shizuku no Precure means a drop of Precure or drops of Precure. A very beautiful name, isn't it? And one interesting thing about the Cure Quartet is that they were the ones who sung uh, the Gumball as the Dance version of Yes Precure 5 Go Go. So they've already obviously been part of the Precure franchise and all those singers are very important for Precure in general, which is something that we are going to check out in this video. Let's start by talking a little bit about Gojo Mayumi, who is someone who is a key part of the Precure history, baby. This legend is the one who sings Dunzen. Futari wa Precure. Yes, honey. Can you believe it? This woman is a legend in the Precure universe. Let's hear what she had to say about uh, being part of Otona Precure 23. She said, It has been a while since I have had the opportunity to sing with the Cure Quartet. This time, it's a song about grown-up Nozomi and her friends. I gave some thought to how I would like to sing the song. However, listening to the three of them already recorded in the studio, I think I was able to mix it up with my own version of the song. The four of us each have different personalities, and I think that it's true for all of the Precure members, and as well as for everyone who listens to us. It is sung by the four of us. I hope it will touch the hearts of all those who have been supporting Precure for a long time, as well as newcomers to the show. I am happy to be involved and support the 20th anniversary in this way. Please listen to it a lot. We are going to listen to it a lot for sure. This is going to be huge. Now, let's hear what another legend, Uchiai Yuka, had to say. Uchiai Yuka is the one who sings the Splash Star opening. Honey, another legend. She said, I never thought I would meet the grown-up Nozomi and her friends and to be able to sing with the four members of the Cure Quartet again. When I heard about this opportunity, I was filled with amazement and gratitude. The ending theme, Shizuku no Precure, is filled with dreams, hopes, and friendship in Tadano-san's lyrics and the powerful yet delicate melody of Takagi's sons, which made me feel that the music was also a more mature version of Precure. I, too, sang the song with the desire to hold on to my dreams and hopes. Together, we all want to support Nozomi and her friends, who are now adults. May the overflowing drops of water become the power of Kibo no Chikara leading into the future. Very cute message, and I love that we can already see some details about the song. First, she says that the lyrics share uh, uh, messages of dreams, hopes, and friendship. And the melody has a powerful and delicate melody. Powerful and delicate are things that usually don't come together, but I feel like Precure in general does this very well. And it's also a mature version of a Precure song. So I really, really am very excited. Like This comment made me very, very excited to listen to it. Now let's hear what Kudo Mayu had to say. I'm very, very happy that Kudo Mayu is back 
to Precure because this woman is a legend. She's one of my favorite Precure singers. Uh, and I mean, right now we have Machiko who is huge. <laughs> we have Chihaya Yoshitake who is also huge and I love both. I love, you know, Precure singers in general, but Kudomai really made history as well. She sings the openings, for example, for the Yes Precure 5 and Yes Precure 5 Go Go Seasons. She sings the both both endings for Hard Catch Precure. Honey, this woman. Hard Catch Precure. She also sings Heart Goes On from Hard Catch. And she also sings Sweet Precure opening. Come on. Sweet, sweet, booty cue. Ah, kudomayu. You are legendary. She has put on her mark in the Precure franchise for sure. So she said, I was very, very happy when I was asked to sing the ending theme for Kibono Chikara Otona Precure 23, which reminded me of the time when I was asked to sing the opening for Yes 5. I was also somewhat exceptionally happy to be able to sing again with the Cure Quartet, the songs of the Precure 5 works that have now become adults after 15 years. I am really, really blessed to be able to perform with the Cure Quartet, where friends and family like that have overcome many difficulties, and to be able to sing with them again with more precious songs is very important to me. I also grew up with the Precure 5. I put all my Precure energy into singing this song. Please, everyone, listen to it a lot. May it be a cheering song for all of you. It's going to be for sure. Oh my god, this made me kind of emotional. Now another legend for Precure, who is Miyamoto Kanako. This woman is uh, someone who's also part of the Precure franchise in a very special way, because she is the voice of Cure Sword. She's not only a Precure singer, but she's also a Precure herself. <laughs> that is very huge. But she did not, her work in Precure did not only stop with Cure Sword. She also sings the Kira Kira Precure ending themes. Legend, legend, boom boom, I love pretty girls. It's her line. See, it's huge. This woman is also huge in the Precure universe. So she said, I'm very happy to sing with the Cure Quartet. I am thrilled to be able to sing the theme song again as a unit of the Cure Quartet after 15 years with my senpai singers who taught me so much in the year following my debut when I had no idea what I was doing or where I was going. I was 17 years old at the time. I guess I became a bit of an adult with Precure too. I believe this song is a cheering song for all the adults who grew up watching Precure and are fighting today. This season is for us. <laughs> All of the Precure that I loved so much are always here for me. Look forward to the timeless yet unchanging melodies of the four members of the Cure Quartet. This is so sweet. I love this. We as adults who have been following Precure for a while, we're all fighting in our lives. And it's very nice to see that the people who have grown up with Precure, when they, they started working, as Miyamoto Kanako says, they're also fighting in their adult lives and they're channeling and, you know, using their Precure energy to hype them up, to power them up in their daily lives, which is something that I also try to do a lot. So it's a very, very important thing. So this just made me even more excited for this season. I feel like it's a present for us Precure fans. It's a big, huge present for people who grew up with Precure, for people who have been watching Precure for a long time and we've learned so many lessons. Those characters, they stick with us as friends. They are people who help us in dark times, in hard times in life. And we all go through that. So those messages are very beautiful. And this makes me even more excited. You know, it feels like everyone who is working on this is paying a lot of attention to what's going on. They are paying a lot of attention to the things that are uh, being said and the people who are working on the season, everything feels super, super well done, super tight, super, super strong. And I feel like it's going to be an emotional ride. So far, we don't have a date for Kibono Chikara Otana Precure. We don't know when it will start, but we already know that it will start in September. We also know that in Japan, it will air 
on Saturdays, 6 p.m., around 6 p.m., I don't know the exact time, but it's like around 6, I think it's 6, 15 p.m., something like that. So it's going to be on Saturdays in Japan, depending on where you are in the world, it's going to be uh, a different time. Obviously, it's going to be a different time, but like for me, it's going to be Saturday early mornings. Uh, so Saturdays are going to be big days for me because of Precure. There's a lot of Precure. I mean, there's Kibo no Chikara and Hirogaru Sky on Saturdays for me at least. So it's going to be, a, a, Saturdays are going to be Precure days even more than they are now. But we don't know the date and we also don't know if Crunchyroll or another um, streaming website will pick it up uh, in other countries to stream it legally for us. I really hope Crunchyroll does it. Crunchyroll is working so closely with Precure. It would be a good opportunity to put uh, Yes, Precure 5 and Splash Star there. And if there are more seasons that it will appear in Otona Precure, they could be there as well. Anyways, babies, this is it for now. I want to take this little time to thank the members of the Magical Cinema channel. If you're a member, thank you very much. And are you excited for Otona? Girl, I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Anyways, babes, this is it. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, bye-bye.